This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a jig hook like these 9230s from Riz and Fly, and today I'm tying a size 14. We will also need a pair of slotted tungsten beads, and these 3mm fit great. I also like the matte black color, but use whatever color you want. Anyway, the best way to put the bead on the hook is to place the bead in your hand and bring the hook point to it. Place the bead and hook securely in your vise. Now a slotted bead on a jig hook needs to be positioned the right way to seat properly on the hook. You can see this way it doesn't fit, but when you spin it around it seats perfectly into the elbow. For thread I like this Vivas 10 knot in black. Start the thread right behind the bead and snip or snap off the thread. Then build a bit of a thread dam behind the bead to keep the bead from slipping down. Now bring your thread down to about the halfway point on the hook shank. And then for ribbing I will be using a brassy size gold wire. I have almost used up this spool, so I'm just pulling off the remaining, but you will want a few inches of wire to work with. Place the end of the wire in between the bead slot to keep it from spinning on top of the hook shank. Then make a few wraps up to the bead, and then make tight wraps down to the bend of the hook, ensuring that the wire stays on top of the hook shank. Now we need some dubbing, and I like this medium olive color Antron. Pull out a small amount like so, and then make a tapered noodle of dubbing onto your thread. Start wrapping the dubbing around the hook shank with touching wraps to create a tapered abdomen. Add more dubbing if you need to reach the shy of the bead. Now make open spiral wraps over the dubbing abdomen to create a rib. Then capture the wire with a few tight wraps, both over the wire and in front of it, and then helicopter the wire off. Now we need a single CDC feather in dark color, like this slate gray. Stroke back the fibers so that they are sticking out perpendicular from the feather stem. And here I made some slits in a foam block in order to hold the feather. Push the feather into the slit like so. And then grab a chip clip to grab the feather fibers and pull it out of the foam block. Now take some scissors and trim off the stem. And you're left with just the fibers like so. Make a dubbing loop right behind the bead. Place a dubbing twister onto the thread and then put the CDC feathers in the loop and release the clip. Twist up the loop to secure the fibers in the loop. Start wrapping the loop behind the bead to create a CDC collar. Capture the thread and clip off the waist. Pull back all the fibers and make a few wraps up on top of the CDC to angle the fibers back. Then whip finish the fly right behind the bead, but finish it on top like so. Now, I like using the Solarez Ultra Thin UV Resin to secure the whip finish. It has a handy paintbrush. Paint a little on top of the whip finish and cure it with your UV light. And there we have it, the finished CDC Collared Caddis Jig Fly. Honestly, I don't really know what the name of this fly is. There's so many different ones that are very similar to this. I'm just naming it by what materials I used. I had a customer by the name of Paul Goucher that had ordered these. So I decided to tie some up on video so you guys could see the fly. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this fly and if you've used something like it before. As you all know, I've gotten you all discounts from www.risenfly.com. They manufacture all their own hooks, rods, reels, fly tying tools, and other great gear for fly fishing. Not only are the prices at their shop great already, but like I said, they're offering you all 15% off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for a discount on your entire cart. I want to also thank all my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can support this channel and get some great perks like early access to my videos, one-on-one -on -one help 
with questions on tying and fishing, and even discounts on flies I tie and sell. Yes, that's right, I do sell flies hand tied by me. If you want to order, you can do so through Patreon for that discount, or just place an order by finding me on Instagram or Facebook. Or if you don't use social media, you can go to my YouTube homepage, click the About section, and click View Email Address and email me with your order. Now, I don't check that email often, so make sure you comment on one of my videos and let me know you sent me an email. I also thank all of you who share all my videos and your continued support by hitting the like button and being my subscriber. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.